Hello, Red Knight Hewitt here, another Burn to Learn, just finishing up a whole slew of dinosaurs. Or as I like to say, a flock of dinosaurs. Uh, Bratlet doing some competitive Overwatch behind me. And uh, I just wanted to check on those before I came and talked to you about a Burn to Learn. A Burn to Learn is my bit to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise, it is boring, so I like to. Um, learn something, and then I'd like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible. It's a little low today. I feel like I'm in a little tiny box. There you go, is that better? Um, uh, so uh, yeah, I'd like to share it with you in the sweatiest way possible. So here you go, sweaty as all. Um, Sunday, it's a Sunday. Uh, don't usually exercise on Sunday, but you know what? It was like my odd day and I thought, why not? So I have, uh, Jane's gone off to do yoga. I, I understand yoga. I just feel dumb doing yoga. I can't, I don't, I don't feel like I have the for that stuff. Although everyone says it's great for you. I just, I'm just convinced I'm going to end up, you know, you know, sun salutationing out of a window or something. First time I ever tried uh, Taekwondo, I uh, was told to practice my kick and uh, I did. And, and I knocked all of the guys, all of the guys' trophies off the, his window ledge. <laughs> <laughs> he was, and he knew what he was in for. Um, anyways, uh, the learn part today, again, surveillance capitalism. Today we're talking about the, um, the fact that Google uh, is continually having to, to, to change its uh, data sources, like, comp like, I mean, I shouldn't say change, expand its, uh, its sources of sort of raw behavioral data. So it moved into Google Maps. And I got to say, Google Maps changed my life. Um, I used to refer to Jane as my Google because I used to call her while I was going to Stargate and say, like, I'm lost and I see like a tree and farm and where am I? And then I would give her crossroads and she would direct me to set because we were off in the middle of nowhere and I just I have no sense of direction. When GPS first arrived, um, it changed everything. I mean, it just took away this level of... Uh, uh, well, took off a, a, a level of concern about about my concern about auditions and about about filming, which was always just how do I how do I get there on time, and um, and then once it began to track all of the the traffic and I could literally get a uh, an estimate on the time it would take to get there, it was just it was like a weight off like for a guy who suffers so much from anxiety, um, it was just a whole thing taken away. The next one is. And again, these are all things that she's terrified that Google's going to do, is, is um, uh, facial recognition. I mean, if I could have something at a party that told me who this person was and how I'm supposed to know them, uh, I, again, I think I'd go out more. Um, and, you know, also all of these things that she's seeing in a very negative light, I, I, I see a positive side as well, too. And again, it sounds like a lot of it has been a bit shady and they've had to sort of go around uh, legislation and, uh, you know, democratic, democratic freedoms and stuff in order to do it. Um, and, um, and how it has sort of uh, attracted other players like Facebook into the fray. Um, it, it's just, again, I'm still not convinced that this isn't or can't be used for good. Again, someone like me, uh, maybe I'm giving up too much for it, but for someone like me, it really did change my life, Google Maps. Um, it made it possible for me, I mean, to sleep the night before an audition because I wasn't worried about where these things were. And then when you got um, Street View, again, something that she's really worried about, the privacy of this stuff and how there were towns in England that were refusing to let the car in. For me, again, you know, uh, I, I need, I, the idea of being able to go and look at the streets and see uh, what sort of landmarks there are so I know where I am, so I know that I'm going to be on time. I mean, I used to go, I remember the first, uh, before I started on Stargate, I used to go to the studio. I used to do test rides to the studio so I knew exactly how to get there. Uh, I was so paranoid about being on time. And then once you've got Google telling you, oh yeah, traffic ahead, this kind of stuff. And I think there's still a tendency for people to go like, oh, I know better. I know different routes and stuff. You don't. Google has the full view of this stuff or Apple or, you know, whoever else. Waze, which is, I think it's been bought by Google. Um... It really, it really changes things. And for me, it changed things for the better. I don't, I'm not sure that I agree that, that there is a, that you're losing any freedom if they're, if they're filming um, or photographing the areas around you. Um, I, I, there was a big sort of hullabaloo, uh, which I do, uh, that does concern me, which was apparently when they were originally going out with the cars, they were sucking up Wi-Fi information. And I mean, any un unencrypted information they could find, they would suck it up and keep it as information that they could use about whoever, you know, was in that area so they could sort of target them for ads and things. So that was obviously 
I kind of a dumb move. <laughs> um, uh, so obviously there have to be checks and balances in place. But I, I, for me, again, I'm finding all this doom and gloom that she's talking about. Um, just reminds me about how, how basically how you know how beneficial this stuff has been to me in the future, in the in the in the past, and um, and how I, I you know I think in the future as well. Um, I am definitely more aware of the checks and balances of privacy now. I do look at stuff. Things do concern me when apps that I don't know have access to my location data. They shouldn't. That kind of. Stuff. I mean, there's definitely going to be some, some as they say, bad actors out there, and I know a thing about it too about bad acting. Um, so, uh, there you have it. There you be. That's my burn and learn for the day. I have got a ton of stuff to do. Got some visual effects stuff with uh, Jake on Monday. Uh, must talk to Professor E at Easy Robot because we were supposed to do a little podcasty thing this week and I didn't. Um, and then this afternoon, I'm really hoping to hop on the, uh, hop on the, uh, the old interwebs with, um, with Country 3D and, uh, and wish him all the best on his first year of podcasting. A uh, lovely guy and a great bunch of great community there. I, I just, I really... Really enjoy chatting with them, so I'm hoping to uh, to bounce onto that if I can. And um, so, until we geek again, sweaty or not, cheerio! Have a great weekend, guys. See you next week.